Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand about Tosca Dex architecture or distributed execution architecture. So in the last video, we understood uh, what is the need and how this works on a very higher level in which we understood that there are three major components, user machine, server machine and agent machine. And this needs to be connected somehow. Now we are going to understand about the backend architecture as to how exactly this works. So basically, Tosca Dex architecture could be set it up could be like the setup could be done in two different ways it could be done with aos or without aos now what is aos aos is automation object service which brings certain more efficient features to the table for distributed execution but we'll start with without aos first so that we understand that with aos what benefit it brings to the table okay now this is a legacy version right now but we'll try to understand this first that how the architecture works and it will be very easy for us to understand with AOS okay so here in the diagram if you see what is happening is Tricentis Tosca commander is present and a workspace is present so this portion is a user machine in which Tricentis Tosca commander is installed and your workspace is present and then Dex works only on multi-user repository, so the common repository comes into picture, right? So, whenever you create something or whenever you are executing something, the communication happens in this way, the workspace communicates with common repository in which whatever data you create goes to common repository and whatever you want to retrieve comes back to workspace and this is your common repository, okay? Now, once you want to trigger the execution on DEX, what happens is you trigger it from the user machine. However, user machine cannot talk to the agent machines directly. So for that, Tricentis Tosca server comes into picture. Inside Tricentis Tosca server, you have Tosca distribution server in which you will do some settings which will enable you to communicate with the user machine with the user machine as well as the agent machine. So that's where Tricentis Tosca server DEX capabilities come into picture. So whenever you trigger the execution, it goes to Tosca distribution server. Now Tosca distribution server is going to contain the key details as to workspace, what agent machines are there and all those things. And then eventually distribute your task to the agent machines. So what happens is, this will let's say here we have in the diagram we have six agents mentioned here so there are six different machines and all those are configured in tosca distribution server and let's say we are targeting 600 test cases we are sending from the user machine so it goes to tricentis tosca server machine and then however the test cases are uh, clubbed it is going to distribute those tasks so let's assume uh, 100 100 so 100 100 test cases are going to be executed in all the different agent machines and that is going to complete our execution in a very efficient way. Now, what happens is whenever Tosca distribution server sends the command that, okay, execute the first 100 test cases into agent 1, okay, and the second 100 test cases into agent 2. Now, what will happen is the moment you send the command to the first agent, it will ask that what test cases you are talking about. Okay, so for that, a workspace needs to be created in case of agent machine. Okay, and then once you give the command to execute these 100 test cases, it is going to take a look at is, do I have some information? So yes, they have a workspace already created and then it is going to pick the 100 test cases and perform the executions. Similarly, all the other agents are going to perform the executions. And these Tosca distribution agents, are in turn connected to the common repository because this workspace and this workspace are using the same path to connect to the common repository. So let's understand this thing little bit in detail. So whenever you create a multi-user repository, you will have something called connection string whenever you create a multi-user repository, right? So connection string will have some DB details, some username and password. Now, if I give the workspace name as A or B, it and give the same connection string, it is going to connect to the same common repository. So <coughs> here, workspace 
is like I've mentioned workspace here, workspace is mentioned here. However, the connection string is something which is going to connect to the same repository. So, in turn, this workspace and this workspace both are connected to the common repository. So, as soon as the execution is getting completed, all your data or the test results goes back to the common repository and which in turn can be looked into the user machine's workspace. And similarly, the second workspace, the third workspace, the fourth workspace and similarly, all the other agent workspace. So, this is what the architecture of a Tosca text without AOS. So, I'll just quickly reiterate this. This is the user machine. This is the DEX machine or the distribution server machine and this are the agents. Okay. So, these are three components and they communicate using the common repository and the user machine communicates with the agent machine using the Tosca server. So, this is how this is done. Now, in case of this, if let's say we are adding more agents to the machine. Okay. Or at the first time we had two agents only and later point we have planned to add four agents. What would happen is every time you have to go to these agent machines and create and install Tosca commander with proper workspace in this particular machine. So that is going to take some time and that is going to be a little tedious process. Okay. So this particular Thing can be efficiently managed using automation object service. So, we are going to understand now the second way with AOS, which is most commonly used and this is more reliable. Okay. Now, the architecture is going to look more or less similar with the change that in this Tosca distribution agents, you won't be able to see the workspace. So, <coughs> let's understand how this works. So, basically, here if you will take a look, this is what your user machine is. Tosca commander is installed, workspace is there and it is connected to the common repository. Okay. Now, whenever you trigger the execution, it goes to Tosca distribution server. The same thing was happening here. Okay. Now, before executing the task, so it is going to distribute the task obviously here to all the agent machines, but we do not need the full-fledged workspace to be present in all these agent machines. So, what would happen is, when you are sending these commands, <coughs> you are executing, let's say I have told same concept will take 100 test cases to agent 1 and 100 test cases to agent 2. So, the first 100 test cases, this agent 1 is going to pick using distribution servers common workspace. So, this is one workspace which is created which is connected to the common repository. So, this workspace is utilized to send the task to different agent machines. So, the need of creating the workspace on all the different agent machine is eliminated and now that can be achieved using automation object service. <coughs> so, basically here you are setting up different uh, like there are few settings like ports need to be enabled, workspace needs to be created with a certain naming convention and all. So those things we are going to take a look in detail. But the architecture here is on this particular machine, the workspace is created and automation object service is set. And this particular workspace acts as a single place which helps us in sending the specific command to all the different agents and whatever test cases are there will be executed and there would be no need of setting the entire workspace on all these agent machines. We are going to take a look at how to set it up in the next video. Uh, this is a little complex process in terms of initial setup but once the setup is done it's very easy for you to perform your executions but this is overall how the architecture looks like. Now there are two things without AOS, with AOS. Now there are two things in both of these HTTP and HTTPS as well which we are going to take a look at in later videos. In case you find this content helpful, do like, share and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.